What's up, Slay Nation? This is me, Next Gen Slayer. Please ignore that sound in the background if you hear that. That's just my computer fan. I'm downloading, or actually um, processing a video right now. So, just ignore that. Anyways, what I got for you guys today is a video tutorial on how to download and install and use custom fonts. Now, what you want to do is go to Google, search custom font, and find a trustable website. Uh, trusty website like defont.com. Um, there's several others that out there. I forget the names. Defont.com is the one I just normally use. Has a lot of them, but make sure you don't use forums. Forums cannot be trusted most of the time. Um, a lot of the times they're okay, but then there's times where you'll download a virus. And I just wouldn't download fonts from forums. You can find most of the fonts you want using um, defont.com and other trustable websites that look like this. So defont.com has tons of different fonts like old school to be very old school looking like uh, I guess this is like baseball stuff. It also has like uh, oh El Rio de Lobo yeah that one and uh, sci-fi. So we're gonna download and use the uh, droid font. So what you're gonna do is click on the picture this will show you a preview of the fonts. You don't have to click on the picture, you could have just clicked download, but eh, usually you like to see what the fonts look like before you download all of them. So, it gives you four different fonts. You want to make sure the files are .otf or .ttf, I believe. Um, those are the ones that usually work for me. And you're going to drag this to uh, either your desktop or a folder that works. So, I'm just going to make this smaller drag it right here to my desktop excuse the mess right here so now we're done with this so what you're gonna do now is right click the zip file um, and hit open now it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this uh, if you don't have WinRAR you can just exit out of that if it asks for something like that now the font I want to use is the normal looking font which is the just the idroid.otf so what I'm gonna do is click on that now drag it back to the desktop right near my .zip. Now I can exit out of this uh, .zip file. And what, unless you want other fonts, um, you can basically get rid of this .zip file and uh, you'll still have this .otf. So now I'm going to right click this .otf uh, idroid file. Go up here, install it. It'll say uh, the iDroid font, it, normally it won't say the, this, but uh, I already have this font installed. Do you want to replace it? So I'll just say yes, why not, who cares. Um, so now I have the font. And so what you're going to do now is go to a program that is able to use custom fonts, such as uh, dot, a Word file, a Word document, or like uh, video editing software as you usually can. Um, since I already have the font installed, I don't have to restart the program. Sometimes you will have to restart the program. But you scroll down to the name of the file, which was iDroid. So this would be under I, of course. You click it. Just type it out. Type out, hi, world. I am droid. Okay. So, as you can tell, it works. And that's basically how you install it and use it. Sometimes you will have to restart the program that you're using to be able to see the font. Um, if that's the case, just save whatever you're working on and restart the program and reopen it. Hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, please leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I am out, guys. Peace out. Have a beautiful day. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how.
enjoy my videos and want to support my channel even more, consider supporting me through the use of Patreon, allowing you access to cool rewards.